welcome back to my channel. I'm giving no context to this vlog, but me, Dad and Red, we're in the lakes having a mini weekend adventure, my first ever wild camping experience. And we are just doing leg one of the Bob Graham right now in what feels like 40 degree heat. <laughs> so just going up a hill, having a chat to you. Well, I just made them look twice This is how it feels When you living that good, good life I'm just living that good, good life I'm just living that good, good life I'm just living that good, good life Good, good life yeah. I'ma do me, I can't do it no different Gold shades, in it, yeah, I got the right vision, yeah I won't let you down, we about to Paint the town, got the people all around. We've been surfing on the crown, yeah. We don't cool kids. So, Rundon, we've just paddleboarded and now we are scouting out our wild camping spot. Wish me luck. Yeah, we let loose, so lighten up, break the rules now. Yeah, we wild out, out the house with the tunes now. On top of the clouds, looking round. Yo, how we ever getting down? Oh. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow. Hey, hey, you just gotta let me know. I think that it's about that time to go. One time for the gram, no. Go ahead, strike the pose. Got the city on lock. Yeah. Good morning. I survived my first night while camping. Um, we just had breakfast. We've had two coffees. Um, and now I'm actually gonna go for a swim which is very unlike me, but the water just looks so nice. Um, and then maybe another paddleboard and I'll actually be back in London tonight, which was a bit crazy. But yeah, it's been very nice. Um, I was so tired from the run that I actually slept quite well. Nothing like it, got the whole spot popping. Oh, it gets so exciting. Had the time of your life, can I get that in writing? Hey, and tell them everybody invited. Yeah. I'm having the time of my life. Everything is going alright. Oh, I just made them look twice. This is how it feels when you live in that good, good life. Just been for a lovely morning swim, which never thought I'd say. Not often do I ever enjoy a swim, but that was delightful that my pace is still shockingly slow compared to, well, two years ago when I was actually swimming. Um, so I got a lot of work to do before I actually race, but great start to the day. So I am now, sadly, back in London in the middle of a heat wave. Um, I realised I didn't give loads of context for that vlog or like not a lot of chatting so I thought I would just do a quick recap. I was basically supposed to be in Portugal and then it got cancelled, obviously like everything is. And so I chilled out for a bit, did a bit of like canes and cake work and then me and my dad went on this camping trip um, which is really random, it's the first time I've ever been wild camping and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The I don't know if I would feel the same if the weather was bad and we obviously had such good weather. Um, so we did leg one of the Bob Graham um, and I'd really love to do the full Bob Graham at some point with my dad uh, or attempt to do it anyway. So we ran up, I'm reading this because I can't remember the names, but Skiddor, Great Calver and Blencathera. Um, ended up, I think we added an extra peak in as well, I'm not sure which one, but it was about 6,000 feet in 17 miles, which is quite an intense, like, I've done that climbing before, but never in that short distance, and I actually, let me tell you, did feel it in my legs, uh, not on Monday, oh yeah, not on sun Sunday, but on Monday, um, so track last night was really quite tough, like, my legs feel fine now, but they were, they were sore. Um, we ran out of water uh, probably two thirds of the way in, so that was that was actually really bad, and I felt it. I don't know whether that's maybe why the recovery was not as good because we were pretty dehydrated. But anyway, it was an amazing run. Absolutely loved it. Um, it's made me a lot more nervous for when I have eventually do attempt to do a Bob Graham round. And then we went to I think it's called the Fell Pack, which I think is quite a like standard. Um, Bob Graham-y type um, restaurant cafe thing because 
people finished just outside of it and we actually watched a few people running and having finished the whole thing which was very impressive while I was tucking into my burger, chips and mac and cheese followed by ice cream um, and then we paddle boarded out and picked camping spot, camped, um, we had like uh, dehydrated meals like fully got involved in the camping life which is a good experience I guess for when I finally get around to doing a multi-stage ultra um, and then got up, swam as you saw Paddleboarded back and then drove back to Yorkshire and then I got the train to a very sweaty, painful London. Um, I definitely feel like it's given me the camping bug. We're actually going camping this weekend for the Ultra X Summit, which will be fun. Bit of running, bit of camping. Hopefully the weather's just as nice. Um, and yeah, and we, I got this. So I would highly recommend this to anyone. We met um, someone near the campsite who, well he obviously suggested the ones up north, but they do them for all over us. So this is the London and South East. And I'm basically, for the any of my free weekends now, I'm gonna plan where I can just do little adventures. Like, um, I never really had myself down as like an outdoorsy adventure girl, which I wished I was, but I kind of feel like I'm converted. If I can camp well to camp for a night, surely I am now. Um, but yeah. It was just all in all a really good weekend. I felt like I really needed to chill out, and I did. The, admittedly, I do feel like I've come to London and feel twice as overwhelmed with like the heat and the busy rat race life, but yeah. Um, what else? Oh, now I'm like desperate for a camper van too. Um, so if anyone wants to give me a camper van, <laughs> that would be great. Um, but otherwise I'm like trying to weigh out is I don't own a house yet can I spend any of the savings I've got for a deposit on a camper van instead should I let me know your thoughts um, or any cool camper van adventure camping blogs or people I should follow on YouTube uh, for my next adventure but thanks so much for watching sorry there wasn't like loads going on I think I feel like I say this every time also I didn't quite get enough footage to do a vlog for my hard world sporty which was actually 47 miles which I did three weeks ago now um, but it's such a cool race absolutely loved it somehow managed second female which I was really chuffed with and um, did not expect but yeah, so sorry I've kind of missed that vlog, um, but hopefully I'll be a bit more consistent, unlikely, but we'll try. Please like, subscribe, share, whatever, and I will see you on the next one.